Hey everyone, hope, hope you're all well. Welcome to another how-to guide for 3ds Max. So today what I want to do is to um, look at two modifiers, or rather one modifier, and that's the FFD. Uh, we'll just have a quick simple look at that. Um, and also I want to show how to imprint text onto an object. So let's start with FFD. Um, we can probably maximize this. So we can just start with drawing, you know, your... Actually, you know what I will do? I'll make a box, because that's what I've come to be known for. So, um, we've got those segment sets set 4x4x2, um, four by four by I think that's good. So then what we can do is go to modifiers and add the FFD. So there's multiple, so there's two, as you can see, the 2x2x2, two by two by two, threes, fours. There's a box and a cylinder. The cylinder is more used for actual cylinder. So I'll just show you how it looks. So if you choose the two, what it will give you is, if you can see the yellow, it will give you two points on each edge. So if you look, there's two points on each edge. So if we were to get out of that and go FFD and then use four, so then that would, what that would do is give us four points across each line basically. And we get even four across the faces. I think in this regard the best thing to do is to go FFD and choose the box and then you can control the number you want. So let's say for the height we can maybe set it to 3 and then that way you know we get 3 points across the height. So okay what can we do with this? So if we choose the FFD then we can actually choose each point and we can control it. And obviously it kind of, it's in some ways similar to edit poly I guess when you make, you choose the points. Um, but there is some interesting things. So as I said, I'll make um, pillow. So we'll grab all these four, and that's what's that done is that it's selected the bottom four as well. So we can go up, pressing R, we get the um, scale, and we can just scale it up, scale it up, make it a nice plush pillow. So it's scaled up from the bottom as well. Beautiful. Then what we can do is that select all these corners. If you hold Control. You can select multiple at once, turn around, hold control, select these as well. Okay. So now what we can do is do the opposite, we can squish these down like we have our pillows. All right. And then the final thing we'll do is that we'll select these points and we'll press W and we'll just kind of push them out a little bit. We'll do the same here, push them out a little bit. Alright, so here's our pillow and needs one more thing and that is our good old friend Turbo Smooth. Hey, there we go. Um, maybe not so much a pillow anymore, more like a stone that you'll find. Oh, there is nothing between. You can do 0.5, I actually don't know. No, there is no 0.5. Well, this is good enough, this will do. So you get the quick kind of introduction to FFD. There is a lot you could do with it, especially if you do, um, let's, let's, maybe I'll do a really quick one. So if we draw a sphere, and then with this sphere, I want to go FFD, and you know what, we can still add a box, right? So we get all these points with it. So now what we can do is actually, like grab a, a few of these points, and actually kind of edit our sphere. Now we can go, we can't really rotate it, but you know, we can kind of scale that part down, scale it up. Um, but I think with, with this, we can do a lot. So you now you can kind of create indentations. There is a whole lot that can be done, basically. Right, and this is obviously a very basic way of kind of using this FFD, but just a quick way of showing what's what, what can be done. So I think we'll delete that one now. All right, so moving on to the next thing, go to your create. Um, yep, create. Just 
So you go to your um, what's that one called? It's your shapes and choose splines. And in spline there's text. So all we'll do is we'll go like that. We'll choose the go to text and put your text down. Ah, oh, perfect. Comfy. That's nice. That's exactly what we need for this task. So a nice comfy pillow. So align your text. Uh, make sure the scale is correct. And if you want to edit that text, you can come into the modify and then in text you know you can kind of you know change it to whatever you want but I think comfy is quite fitting and you can change the size here you know if you wanted to make this text bigger or smaller I think this is a good size works for us and probably the other thing we'd want to do for this for this text is to probably Oh yeah, you can see here that I haven't, it's not perfectly even our pillow. Actually, I, don't, I think when I chose the four points in the center, I missed one. But that's okay. We'll, we'll act like that didn't happen. So just offset the text, put it above, and then we'll come back to this screen. And then here's where the magic happens. So you go to select your pillow, go to your um, create, uh, compound object shape merge and then here you can say pick shape and pick the comfy there we go there's your comfy text nice and comfy so there's a few things you can do cookie cutter so that'll actually cut the text out of your object you can do invert which will make parts of that object the whole text um, but we'll just do merge for now and also we want it on the face Okay, so then what we'll do from here, here's where the interesting stuff happens. We can right click and say convert to edit poly, right? So now we've converted it to edit poly. We can do that and say extrude. So now we can extrude the whole thing. We can extrude it out if we want it like that. If that's something we want or we could extrude it in. You know, and extrude it in as much as we would like. I think for this exercise, oh, I think for this exercise, I'll just extrude it in a bit. Now, sometimes I've had issues with, so you know, I guess more or less this is quite nice. I'm happy with that personally. Now, I'm not sure how well it will go if I add a Turbo Smooth to this, since I've already done it. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't work so well. But I guess that was the ideal. I just wanted to show how to add text to a object. And that's kind of how you do it. Hope this was a hopeful guide. And see you on the next one. Take care.